Sometimes I think I'm a bit crazy to go out in the rain or climb a fence or cross a swollen creek or, you know, go for a drive for what worked out to be almost a thousand miles to take a photograph of one sign. My name is Gideon and my username is Nangara. In Australia there's that old fable about the outback and there was a sign for one of the shires. I knew I'd seen it before and all it says is outback starts here. So I drove from Perth up to the sign, took the photo and drove back home again. Yeah, it all began with the kangaroo paw. I click on the Wikipedia article and it says, this is the floral emblem of Western Australia or something. And that's it. I knew more about the flower than what was there and I saw the little button at the top that said edit this page. So I started editing. Wikipedia for photographer is a fantastic book because you can pick and choose what you release. You can change subjects. So you can go read an article about something and go, oh, I know what that is. That's only down the road. I'm going to go and take a drive and take some photos and it challenges you to change your styles when you're looking at architecture to plants to you know full full on scenery you know I like shooting the flowers in Western Australia because there's just so many of them um the the variety is just it's going to take years just to shoot every one and that's part of the challenge is getting in and finding some of these flowers when they're in season a lot of them are endangered a lot of them are in restricted areas where you aren't supposed to go and um a lot of them, you know a general location, but you don't know a physical location, so you've got to work that out yourself. One plant, it's a Banksia, um, and to get photos of that, it's in a very small area. It's more or less a swampy ground type thing. In the botanical gardens, where I originally took a couple of photos of the flower, they've got one specimen growing there. So I got some of those, and then as the article was going to feature it, I went to actually photograph the species in its location, which is the best way to present a plant anyway. So I went to this place and it's circled by a six foot high cyclone fence with three strands of barbed wire across the top of it. So up and over I go and take me photos, no problem at all. Um, about six months later, fire goes through the area and absolutely destroys everything, flattens it. But that's good for the plant because the banksias release their seeds after a fire's gone through and then the seeds germinate in the ash and grow up from there. So here this article is going through FA and it's like, okay, I'm going to go back and get some seedling photos in the same area. Had to go back over the fence again. Ground's a lot wet and soggy and, yeah, makes it interesting to start with. Take the photo of the plant, get some leaf photos, show some nice stuff of the seedlings, climb back over the fence, go across the drain, of course, protecting my camera, you know doesn't matter about anything else, I step up onto the side, foot slides. So I go back down into the swamp, into the drain, climb back out, boot missing. Oh well. So, yep, pair of boots.